OpenAI have released their open source OSS series of models. I'm going to go through the performance of these models and I'll show you how to run inference, how to set up a GPU and hit an endpoint. I'll also talk through how to do fine tuning with a basic notebook and then a more advanced notebook. Now there are two models that have been released. There's a 20 billion parameter model and there's a 120 billion parameter model. Both of these though run on a single GPU, a H100 GPU with 80 gigabytes. And the reason is because these models incorporate quantization within their training. So many of the weights are stored not in the conventional 16 bits, but just four. And this allows models that are huge in size to fit on relatively small amounts of VRAM. Furthermore, these models are called mixture of experts. This means that of the total 120 parameters, not all of them are used when you do a forward pass. Only a portion are used, about uh, 5 billion parameters in the larger model case and about just under 4 billion parameters in the smaller model case. So this means the models should perform at a speed that's closer, not quite the same, but closer to much smaller models that are just four or about six billion parameters in size. So that means they're powerful models because they have a lot of parameters, but they're also fast because they only activate some of those parameters on the forward pass. I always like to go to artificial intelligence to check out the relative performance of the models. Right now, the strongest model is Grok 4, O3 Pro uh, at the same level, O3 very close behind, and then O4 Mini. And you can see that the open source model from uh, GPT from OpenAI is already appearing here. It's scoring 58 compared to 68, but it's up there with Gemini Flash Reasoning. It's up there with DeepSeek, the latest release from May as well. The smaller model uh, is also appearing. It's outperforming GPT 4.1, which is one of OpenAI's leading non-reasoning models. It's a proprietary one. So you can see the performance here, 51, even of the smaller model is really not that bad. Interestingly, the largest model is not performing the same as Quen 3's largest model. Granted, Quen 3 is quite a bit larger as a model. I suspect if OpenAI trained a model that large, they would have achieved possibly similar performance. So the frontier for open source is still being held by a Chinese lab, but OpenAI here have released a model that's very powerful and also very fast. Now I'm going to show you how to run inference first of all in these two models by running uh, an endpoint, and then I'm going to do fine tuning 